Do you feel like you're getting picked on by the automatons? Have those bugs started to feel like they're more than you can handle? Do you have questions as to what armor perks best suit your needs as an enjoyer of Helldivers 2? Well, look no further. My name is Clementine, and I'm going to lay some information on you. Let's dive in. All right, so how this video is going to go is I'm going to be going over all the different armor ratings and all the different perks and everything. And then I'm going to go into what I like to run on Helldivers 2. And near the end of the video, I have a sort of loadout that you could try to go and get the best of both worlds when it comes to the armor. What is the best all around armor in Helldivers 2? This has been a question that's been plaguing Helldivers from the start. They have different kinds, different perks, different armor ratings, but what do they all mean? There are a lot of options, but what is the best option for you? To start with a little bit of background on armor in Helldivers 2, when it first came out, it didn't even work. A lot of guys were running around with heavy armor, and the heavy armor was not providing any extra protection. It was straight, like a bad neighbor, it wasn't there. Wasn't there to protect it, wasn't there to do anything but slow you down so you could get shot or killed easier by them bugs. Everyone running around in heavy armor felt pretty silly. What, I know you're not looking at me. It's not like I did that a lot. Because it didn't matter which armor rating you had, it was best to just grab the light armor because you had better stamina and speed from it. Now that they have that fixed, that brings up the question once again of what pair of democracy jam jams are you going to wear on your next slumber party on Hellmire? So let's break it down on the types. So, so far we have light, medium, and heavy armor to pick from. The light armor, you know, it's it's light, it's it's cool, it's comfy in the summer times, and you're gonna be hanging out and being able to run around. This is like your shorts and a t-shirt. Medium's gonna give you that little bit of t extra protection, but it's gonna slow you down a little bit. And then heavy, of course, you're gonna be moving around like a sloth, but you're gonna have the armor of a fully mounted knight. So speed. Speed determines your running and your sprinting speed in Helldivers 2. And your stamina regen, that's just how fast your stamina regens. Like, it's it's plain and simple, you know, if it's lower, it's gonna take longer. If it's higher, it'll take less time. Your armor rating is clearly your armor rating. If it's pretty low, that's not as much protection. If it's super high, boom, big protection times. We're talking, the, we're talking protecting that gas dang democracy. Pretty much all you need to know on here is the heavy armor starts at a base level of like 150, medium starts at a base level of like 100, light armor seems to start at a base level of 50, but they have quite a few of them that are up around like 70 or 80. It is said that if you have an armor rating of 100 or more, you'll take less damage from headshots, so keep that in mind. Here's a good rule of thumb on armor rating. If you're fighting the automatons, it's a good idea to have a little bit heavier of armor. They do have medium armor that does have that extra padding perk, which gives you a little bit extra because you'll be taking a lot more hits from longer range. If you're fighting the bugs, use light armor for the terminants because mobility is king here. All right, just quickly going through all the perks, you have democracy protects. This is a 50% chance to not die when taking lethal damage, okay? This is essentially, you know, the democracy god smiled down on you and was like, yes, you will not die. This is great for all those people who keep dying. Now you have a 50% chance to not do that. It also prevents all damage from bleeding if your Helldiver's chest is hemorrhaging. Maybe this is meant to be like the cleric of armor sets or something, you know, like, oh yeah, you just got blessed, or you're just running the luckiest armor you can possibly do. Next we have Electrical Conduit. It provides 95% resistance to arc damage. That means the electrical damage from arc throwers, arc 12 blitzer, and the Tesla Tower. And this passive is only available on armor from the Helldivers 2 Cutting Edge Warbond. I like to think of this one as it's the, it's the kid that you knew who like stuck a fork in an outlet and now thinks he's an electrician. That's the same guy. This You cannot convince me that this is not that guy. Next we have that engineering kit. This is that further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30%. Also increases the initial grenade inventory and total capacity by two. I like to think of this as your blue collar guy who's just had like, you know, he just got off of work. He's trying to have like 30 beers. He's got the belly to prove it, to reduce that recoil. This is also the guy that can't think of a scenario where two grenades would not be helpful oh you missed that bug hole a couple of times two extra grenades ah you don't like your your neighbors two extra grenades ah yeah my boss yelled at me two extra grenades 
Next we have that extra padding. It's just to increase your armor rating by 50 or so. This can, if it's applied to medium armor, it'll just essentially turn that medium armor into heavy armor without the downsides of heavy armor when you think about it. Now, if you got that heavy armor with this on, man, you just gotta think Mr. Stay Puffed. That's it, like you, you have all the armor. Like they were like, hey, would, would people like armor? And you were like, I will take it all. Then we've got fortified, which further reduces recoil while crouching and prone by 30%, sort of just like the engineering kit. And also provides 50% damage resistance to explosives. You know that one kid who's always building bombs or did no one else know that kid? I hope he's all right. Anyways, everyone hates getting blown up. Doesn't matter if it's from your team. Doesn't matter if it's from those gosh dang rocket devastators for bots fortified heavy armor is one of the best choices out there because it offers you that protection as well as from the explosive damage this will allow you to take less damage from them overall and you can also run the greatest gift that the devs have ever given us the auto cannon please don't nerf if you nerf my baby i will seek justice but yeah the auto cannon or any other heavy weapon would go great with this one next we get the med kit increase the initial stem inventory and total capacity by two and increases the stem effective duration by two seconds this is that band-aid kid guys okay he's, he's always got them band-aids on lock but the important thing here is the it increases the stem effective duration by two seconds we're talking two extra seconds of almost invincibility you just stem and you're just like what's up i've got like three or four seconds of just invincibility before i'm gonna start taking damage unless you just take a lethal hit that you're done like that's that you're clocking out early if you find yourself constantly getting shot this would be great for you next we have the scout this one the markers placed on the map generate radar scans every two seconds and it reduces the range at which enemies that will detect you by 30 percent the marker placement thing i i always forget about that i i do run scout armor every now and then actually quite a bit the bread butter of this one is that reduces range for which enemies can detect you by that 30 percent that is just that's just key i've had terminates pretty much run over the top of me and i was prone and like they didn't even see me it was great because i was about to die i will say that the old map radar that just really seems like you have like an in with the radar guy and all the rest of the guys are like hey you could just tell us where that is stuff is too and he's like no i like this guy he's cool then we have the servo assisted this increases the rowing range by 30 percent and provides 50% more limb health. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's 50% more limb health because 50% of your limbs are steel. The increased throwing range, you just gotta imagine, you're just like rookie of the year. You're gonna be able to huck those things as far as you possibly can imagine. So if you get them stratagems right on target, those will help you get them grenades into those bug holes from a mile off or at least 30% farther. Interesting note about these ones is all the beginning characters of the names of these you know you've got c for combat engineer you've got cm for combat medic you've got dp for democracy protects you got uh b uh for uh big boy i think uh ballistics sorry for the extra padding um the scout sa servo assisted is also sa fortified is fs anyways you get the point but the cream of the crop and the thing that no one's talking about is look at all that cake man goodness about to start calling this the freaking CM09 Bakery, because that guy's stacked. Gosh, dang. Looking like a wedding cake all caked out here. That's democracy's cake right there. So now that we've gone over that, I guess the real question is, what are you trying to fight? What are you trying to do here? Okay, you, you got to think. There's like there's like classes here. You can't just go in here. There's, there's stuff that you want to do, right? Are you trying to do some sort of class build? Okay, like I've got I've got some classes here that we could take a look at. Okay, we've got that sniper. I think the sniper would probably benefit the best from having that light armor. You're trying to look for that high mobility to get away or reposition if you need to. You'll also want to probably pack a sidearm or a primary that can deal out a little bit more damage if you're running the sniper rifle. If you're just running a sniper just in general uh you might also pack a little gun just in case you, you get jumped all right for snipers you're gonna think light armor high mobility is gonna help you get away from enemies and it's also gonna help you reposition around the battlefield we get out of them sticky situations and get to where you can help out your buddies if possible i would think the scout perk would be the best just for that detection reduction because that'll really help you out sneaking around now if you're gonna be running like a heavy sort of build like imagine thick hell imagine too thick that's what we're going for here we're looking for heavy armor probably with that fortified or extra padding fortified once again it's gonna help you with that like 
explosive damage reduction, and then it's also going to reduce re recoil by 30%. You can also just grab the shield pack that would also help you out with this. That'll increase your survivability, especially against the automatons. I probably wouldn't suggest this on bugs, uh, you'd be pretty slow. Now if you're running sort of like a gunman build, just think of a, a guy that goes in, maybe like a, you know, your standard everyday sort of troop, you know, like medium armor so you can take a hit and for mobility. I honestly, like a machine gun for crowd control. So you need to ask yourself, what what kind of what kind of build you sort of trying to build your guy around? There's plenty of options. Are you one of those guys that next, needs extra band-aids because you keep getting hit? Are you one of those guys that's constantly getting killed and you maybe need some of that democracy protection i'll tell you what i do i like light armor light armor is king because that stamina regen and that mobility is fantastic you can run that with the shield generator pack and that'll actually that'll bump up your you know not getting hit right i like running that with the combat engineer perk because two extra grenades is pretty fantastic and it also helps to be able to just like run through like run up real quick throw a grenade into a automaton factory or a bug hole and then you just ditch out or if you keep missing those bug holes you get two extra grenades it's a good time so i guess at the end of the day it's really just up to you but just know that light armor is king okay that's just that's bar none okay mobility awesome stamina regen great and as a big reveal what i think would be the best of both worlds would be medium armor running extra padding maybe a shield generator pack for even more protection but but then also running with that stamina enhancement because then you'll be running with like max armor and max speed and i think that would just be the tops as far as bust both worlds on speed and protection but all that's not going to really mean anything if you fall for this one enemy's attack i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one